I'm your host, G. Harris, and today, nobody stole Sunday. No, she's off with the mechanic because today, baby, is upgrade day. Hey, 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 upgrade day. I can't dance, y'all. Yeah. Um, it sucks. But today is upgrade day, baby, and guess what? Sade is getting a new pair of shoes, baby. Oh, 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 oh she about to be fire. And wait till y'all see, fam. I done put, <laughs> I done put some new ties on it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how this look would play out. So this is, you know, if you saw my last video, you know I have some goals, and one of those goals was to seriously upgrade Sade. And so today is phase one. We're putting some new shoes on her. For those of you who don't understand that vernacular or that level of slang. New shoes is a term for new wheels. It is a term that people use for bikes and cars, AKA whips. Appreciate you, bro, for that uh, explanation because you know a lot of people were lost with that one, you know? So yeah, Sade has a new wheel set coming. We're gonna put a carbon wheel set on her, 50 millimeters deep. Love the look, man. Uh, Telling y'all the wheels are super light. Yes, we have carbon brake pads for them. They are being installed on the bike. Man, y'all, can I just I, can I just say, y'all don't know how excited I am. This is a uh, birthday present. So my birthday was um, earlier this month, and um, my wife went ahead and purchased the wheels for me, and I purchased and from the birthday money that uh, I was able to collect. Appreciate everybody who donated to the Homeboy Needs More Bike Parts fundraiser. Your donations <laughs> were used to purchase a new set of tires and some long stem and some longer stem tubes that'll fit the 50 millimeter carbon wheel set on the bike. So again, um, from the bottom of my heart, you know, all jokes aside, I do really appreciate all the love people show me on my birthday. I don't really make a big deal about birthdays, but you know, I really do thank y'all. You know, I appreciate all of the, the, the messages, the calls, you know, the texts. Um, I really do uh, appreciate that. Thank y'all. You know, praise the Lord. I was able to see another year on this earth. And uh, for as long as the Lord will allow me to be here, you know, I'm just, uh, I won't be thankful. So, so phase one, baby. <laughs> it's here. So let me tell y'all, fam. Let me tell y'all, man, I'm, I'm so excited, man. I'm super excited. Do you see it on my face? I'm super excited about this. You know what? I'm so excited. I'm just going to show y'all the bike right now. Sunday! Tires on the bike because 
the two that were on the original wheel set were only 42 millimeters deep, and this is a 50 millimeter deep wheel set, so they didn't work. And my longer stem, 60 millimeter stems, um, didn't come in until a couple of days later. So as you saw, I put in the tires and the tubes myself, and then installed the wheel set on the bike. So uh, I kept the uh, original Maverick wheel set. I have two sets of cassettes. I mean, I have two different cassettes uh, from when I had broke one of the rear wheels on Sunday earlier last year, or later last year. And my boy Rick, shout out to Rick, sold me an extra Maverick wheel that he had me and he sold me a cassette with it too. So that's how I ended up with two cassettes. So I kept the cassette on the other wheel set. So that way now I have a backup pair of wheels just in case I damage these or you know something goes on or if I just want to change them out because maybe the wind conditions are too much for a deeper wheel set or whatever the reason you know so I went with the Continental GP 5000 the Tour de France um, edition so now here's the thing I was a little nervous about how this would look because I hadn't seen too many white bikes or too many you know different color bikes other than black that had gumball tires on. And I, I hit up my boy Crit, shout out to Crit Rick. And uh, he was like, yeah, man, he was like, I think it'll look dope. He was like, look, look at my bike. And you know, his bike, Joy, she has gumball tires on her too. And she is white, black, and pink. I was still a little nervous because she's a little more black than white, while my bike is fully white and blue. And then, if you follow me on IG, you may have seen me post it. I found, I saw another bike that had um, the same color scheme as mine. It was white and blue, and it had gum all tires on it. It looked fire. The only difference was it didn't have a bunch of logos on it like mine does. So basically, I want to, the, you know, one of the next upgrades is getting rid of all of these extra logos and just leaving this one that's on the down to, and the rest of them go bye bye, and it'll just be a plain white bike. Uh, so that's where I came in when I came with the uh, gumball tires. The, this is a carbon wheel set from a brand called Super Team. So I went with the Super Team brand because I had um, several people who had, who have had or have this brand of wheels on their bike who have told me that they are really good wheels. You know, regardless of the fact that you know you get them off of Amazon, you know they're a lower price. I think these were like four hundred bucks. Uh, which my wife was like, that's a lot of money. And I was like, ooh, well, maybe some of the other wheels says I wanted were like 1200 bucks, you know, big difference. One of the main reasons that I went with them was first the strength of reviews. Everyone said that they were actually really good wheels. And the other reason why is because they don't have any logos on. So honestly, I don't really like logos on tires. I kind of think it's, I don't know. Ugh. I mean, if, if, I mean, honestly, if I can get one that's transparent that doesn't really show, you know, I kind of like the minimalistic look of these wheels. You know, it's, it's not it's not any logos. You know, I'm not advertising for anybody. It's just doop, dope wheels. So that's how I kind of came in with this upgrade. Um, as you saw, you know, I went on a ride today. The first day was a ride on it, and uh, you know, the Conti tires are soft, man. I love them, and definitely do take a lot less rolling resistance to get them going over the Continental Gator Skins, which is, what I, which is what I originally had on the bike. Now, the only thing to see is whether or not they're as flat resistant as the Gator Skins, okay? I've had you know, a couple of flats here, and the thing is, I'm not too worried about flats. You know, um, I have, I carry a, a tool bag with me. I have two CO2 cartridges, an extra two, a flat repair kit. Um, so, honestly, I'm prepared, you know, for anything. If I, if I catch, you know, a flat on it, you know, I can change it. And I can, I will say these rims were very easy to mount the tires on. Did not have too much of a problem as you saw in the video. And so, man, that's pretty much my assessment right now. That's a one-day assessment. You know, I'm pretty sure in the future I'll give you guys, you know, a more in-depth review as we go on. You know, so if anyone is looking for, let's just say, a bargain set of wheels, because that's pretty much what these are. You know, these are very minimalistic in design. You know, they're easy to mount and um, they're light, super light. And yeah, man, they look, they look really good as you can see. So that's my review. I'm the Overnight Cyclist. Subscribe, like, follow me on IG, follow me on Strava.
And uh, if you're in the Houston area, man, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I've had several people already hit me up. If you're in the Houston area, hit me up, man. We can link up and ride together, fam. I'm Melvin Ice Cyclist. Peace. Uh-huh.